Hi everyone, Janie here. Welcome back. So I am getting some errands done, of course, before I go home and continue on with my perennial planting priorities, right? Got to get my hair done. But then I heard through the grapevine that one of my favorite plant care companies is actually in Target. So my hair salon is right around the corner from Target. So let's go in and let's see if we can find them. There it is. Oh, I'm so proud of Josh. Okay, so I have talked about We The Wild a couple times on my channel before. Their essentials kit was actually on my holiday gift guide this past year, and I am so proud of them that they made it into Target. Like what an amazing, amazing accomplishment. I actually wanted to sell these products on my online store, but you know, I guess I can't compete with Target. So Josh, the founder of We The Wild, he's from Australia and his focus is just really organic, friendly uh, uh, products for your houseplants. And they are so cool. They have this spray that protects, it's made of neem oil, but it also shines your leaves, which are incredible. And then they also have these gloves right here, which I honestly are think, think they're the best thing ever. I use it all the time to dust my houseplants and now you can get them in Target. So huge congratulations to Josh. Let me show you what else that they have from We The Wild in Target. So first they have the Proud Plant Mom Leaf Care Kit. Oh, what? Do they have pink gloves? Um, yeah, I'm getting that one. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize they had pink gloves. I have the green gloves at home. I didn't realize they had pink ones. Okay, so Proud Plant Mom comes with the pink gloves, which are so cute, and then the Protect, which is the neem oil spray. It will protect your house plants from any bugs, but then it'll also keep them nice and shiny and looking good. This is the essentials kit that I actually had on my, uh, my holiday gift guide. So it comes with the grow. This is like your house plant fertilizer, then enrich powder, which has a lot of uh, worm castings made of earthworms. Um, and so you basically sprinkle this on the top of your house plants and the house plants just do so well. And then finally, some of the protect comes in the house plant essentials kit. I met these guys when I was at the leaf joy event in Virginia with proven winners and proven winners think this company is amazing and I think that Proven Winners wanted to work with them too and so just the fact that they're in Target is huge. Here's the Leaf Care Duo that has Protect and then it has the green gloves and then finally the Revive and Thrive which is the Enrich Powder and the Grow. So huge, huge congratulations to Josh. I am taking home, actually I think I'm going to take home another one of these for my mom. <laughs> there we go. Okay, while I'm here, I need one more thing. Well, a couple more things. We have something special on Saturday. So a huge congratulations to We The Wild. I am so impressed with you guys and I am so proud of you. You have worked so hard and your products are so good. I love them so much. And goodness, Target, holy moly. So they're in Targets everywhere. This kit was $19. It's a perfect little gift for my mom and myself. I mean, who, who can resist pink gloves? So huge congratulations to Josh and your team. I'll put, um, I'll put the Target links in the description down below. All right, back to the house. It's time to get planting. All right, I am back at home. It is a beautiful day today. It's like 85 today. It's, it's gorgeous. My body's not quite used to it yet. I feel like I say this every year in the spring. All of a sudden we warm up so fast. Like we're like winter, it's raining, and then boom, it's summer. And so today is 85 degrees and my body is 
I'm not, qu I'm not quite there yet. I'll get used to it and then I'll wish for an 85 degree day. So I think Jason had the same idea that I had to work in the shade garden. He actually has been over here installing some drip irrigation. He has been helping me with the drip irrigation just simply because we have so much of it, so much of it that we have to install. So this is my drip irrigation wagon where I have all of my supplies in and that has been making it so much easier because then we don't have to keep going back and forth to the metal workshop. It's just, it's it's just all right there, which is really, really nice. Um, and it makes me want to make like, um, like a garden supplies wagon of my own where I can have all my stuff in because I still can't find my tape measure <laughs> for the, for the spacing. I lost it somewhere in this garden and I'm so annoyed about it. Um, so I actually bought another one on Amazon yesterday. I know that's so embarrassing, uh, but I need, I just, I feel like I need more organization because this, this property is just way, way too, like so much bigger than I'm used to. So anyway, I am over here. Um, I am going to be planting a shrub and then uh, some hookra because of course, hookra like shade. Hookra can handle sun or shade, but because we live in such a warm environment, they usually do a little bit better in shade for us. Okay, so here's my wagon of goodies, my hookra, and then I have one hookarella right here. I chose three different uh, colors of the foliage because I love that look. It has been on my gardening wish list for a couple years now to have that look of contrasting foliage um, and just kind of all mixed in with each other because I just think it's so pretty. I just love, love, love that look. Uh, so the three kinds that I have here, first of all, this one I've talked about a lot. This is wild rose hookra. It gets about 10 inches tall and 30 inches wide. It's the widest out of all of them. And it's definitely my favorite. The, I mean, look at that color. Look at that color. I just think it's so beautiful. I have another one over here already planted because I managed to get my hand on hands on one last year. And you can see this one is starting to kind of grow back. It did keep its foliage throughout the winter, but it started to look not very nice. So I kind of cut it all back and now it's growing back and it's looking beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So that one is wild rose. Then this one next to it, this one is a new one. This one and this one aren't available until 2025. Just so you know, wild rose is available. This one is called prom dress dressed up. No dressed up prom dress. It's from the dressed up series and it's called prom dress. And it's, I think that's a really apt name for it because it's like the shimmery, silvery, like pewter color. It's just so pretty. It is really, really interesting. It has a really interesting kind of pinky underside and then beautiful, beautiful blooms. They're about to start blooming and I'm excited to see it. The third one is actually a hookarella. This one is called shadow tag and you can see it's a little bit more of a classic green color, but this one has this burgundy veining in it, which gives it, makes it really interesting. But then look at these pink blooms. Oh my goodness. Aren't those beautiful? So the common name for hookarella is foamy bells, while the common name for hookara is coral bells. So that can, I mean, I don't know. I don't really think about the blooms for hookara and hookarella. It, you know, they're pretty, but it's definitely not why I want these plants in my garden. I definitely want them for the flowers. I'm no, for the foliage. <laughs> that contradicted everything I just said. I definitely want them for the foliage, not the flowers, but a lot of people do really like the flowers and I, I can see why. So I'm going to be planting these over here. And now I know this looks like sun, but that's because the sun is setting right now. So it's just at the perfect spot. This is like the most sun these garden beds get all day. And as that Clematis armandii grows up, which will grow pretty darn quickly, this will be completely covered with shade and it gets shade pretty much the rest of the day. So, so think of this as a full shade bed. Um, Jason was so sweet and he knew I was going to be planting these today and he knew I had a busy day getting my hair done. So he helped me out and he installed these wires here for this plant. I actually have two of these. I have one here and then I have one over there on the other side. And this is called Rose Sensation False Hydrangea Vine. I mean, 
Can you imagine? So this is not actually a hydrangea. It's uh, obviously, it's a false hydrangea. That's the true name of it or the scientific name of it. But it's called a false hydrangea because the blooms look like lace cap hydrangea blooms. Isn't that beautiful? So it gets, look at that. 50 feet tall, six to nine feet wide. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be all the way up to the top, which I'm so excited about. Now, it doesn't technically need support, right? From everything I've looked at, it says it can attach itself to the wall. Not very aggressively, but it does attach itself to the wall. But I just wanna make sure it stays safe and doesn't fall off. So I did just kinda add these on just for, um, or I wanted to add these in just for extra kind of support. Um, but I'm gonna let it grow all the way up there. Now, here's the thing. You have to be patient with this plant. Apparently, it takes about three to five years to really get going. But once it gets going, it like goes like it definitely goes. So I'm going to, you know, I made that decision. I'm going to take my time with it. I think it's worth it to wait the three years for it to start growing. But I just think it's going to be so, so pretty. And then during the summer, we're going to have these beautiful blooms. And oh my goodness, I just, oh, I just can't wait. So that I'm going to plant today. I have one there and then I have another one over here, right there, that I'm going to plant in that spot that I kind of marked right there. So that will grow up. Let me back up. That will grow up right here. We just did the first two rows of wire because it's going to take so long for it to start growing. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, I mean, I don't even know if it'll get to that second wire, if you can see it right there. Maybe it will. I hope it will. But I'm prepared to take my time and be totally patient with this plant. And in the meantime, I'll have the hookra and my camellias, and I'm gonna put some pots here on either side with some topiaries in it, and I'll keep adding to the shade garden, but I knew I wanted to have something climbing because I, I, I love, love climbing plants. I love vines. I just think it is the most beautiful look, and this wall is just calling for it. I mean, it's just calling for it. So let me get the false hydrangea vines in first, and then I'll lay out the hookahs and hookarella and decide where I want that to go. Here to help me. Hello. Thank you. You're You've been so helpful lately. <laughs> Thanks for getting that wire up. How did was that easy? It was very easy. We're, I guess we're pros now getting yeah, wired. So many times. Like, <laughs> I know the tricks. I, I mean, it's easy. All our houses are stucco too, so we're we're good with it. You're good with it. Yeah. So we should do more. <laughs> do more. I miss uh, honeysuckle. I know. Where do we put it? I don't know. Yeah. One of the fences that are about to fall over. Please, if we put it on right, we'll hold the fence up. <laughs> we'll be put enough stakes in it or something. <laughs> All right, so Jason's going to help me aug some of these holes. I got the climbing hydrangea in already. That's pretty much probably what it's going to look like all year and maybe next year. I have a couple blooms on here, but not really. I'm I'm just not expecting much. I read an article by Erin, the Impatient Gardener. She wrote an article about this plant. I will link it down below. But basically what she said is plant it and forget about it. Forget about it for the next three to five years. And then all of a sudden, one day you'll have a beautiful climbing hydrangea and you'll say, oh yeah, I planted that. I forgot I planted that. So that's what I'm planning on for that the two climbing hydrangeas. And then you can see where I laid out the hookahs and the hookarellas, kind of just like a mix of color, kind of like a checkerboard pattern of color. Three of the wild roses, one of the shadow tags, and two of the prom dresses over here. I'm thinking about adding more. I haven't decided yet. I don't want this to just be a hookah garden. Over here, I'm going to do a wild rose, wild rose right there. 
that's prom dress, shadow tag, shadow tag, and then this wild rose I am going to transplant and it's going to go right there. You can see I did leave a little bit of space right along the edge right here because I'm thinking, just thinking about doing a boxwood hedge. I was talking to Michael Glassman. He came here and he had the brilliant idea of just making this whole shade garden like a, like a formal English garden where you kind of walk in and then it's like, it's like you've been transported to a different place, which is like, I wasn't even thinking about that. I was thinking about just having my whole garden be the country romance look, but he got really excited about having its own little room and making its own little room completely different. And I don't know, I've just, I've never actually grown boxwood hedges before, so I'm just kind of hesitant. So I haven't totally made up my mind. What do you think? I have no idea about boxwood hedges. Yeah, well, we should look into it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's so funny because I think of boxwood hedges as taking a long time to grow, right? Like, yeah. I feel like they take a long time, but I literally was just talking about the, <laughs> the climbing know. hydrangea. That's a long time. That's really, three to five years. I didn't know that was that long. Yeah, and I'm totally cool with waiting for that. But for some reason, I'm not okay with waiting for the hedges. I don't know. I got to think about it. So anyways, I left space just in case. And if we do do the hedges, um, they'll be the mini hedges kind of all along here, all along here. I'll have to move some of these Brennera um, kind of just back. And I'll probably have to move these hostas as well, which is not that bad. Uh, I just want to show you all. So this is Jack of Diamonds Brennera. Oh my goodness. These blue flowers are just the prettiest thing. They're so, so beautiful. I wish they were a little bit bigger so that you can see them. I mean, you can, you can kind of see them from standing back, but oh, they're such a pretty color, huh? I like those. I didn't know that they flowered like that. I, I know. I know. Well, they mainly are, but they're, I mean, they're just so pretty. It's just like these. That's mostly for foliage, the hookera and hookerella, but they also have blooms too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Ready? Do it. Fixing a Monty hole? Yeah. <laughs> Whose idea was it to get a dog anyway? <laughs> oh my god, right on cue! Right on cue, Monty! I mean, what am I doing? <laughs> yeah, that's your hole you dug. Uh huh. He's like, did you like my hole? Yeah. Did you like it? Wasn't it a nice hole? Oh boy. All right, everyone. We got them planted. And they look good. I like it. Don't you like it? Yeah, they're nice. I like those. It looks beautiful. Do you think we need more? Or do I don't you know what other plants we got. Like you have or... Well, I can always find plants. Well, I know. I mean, we got to fill in with stuff. Like, what are we filling with? Plants. <laughs> there's lot there's lots of shade plants. There's lots of beautiful shade plants. I don't know. I'll think about it. So, you can kind of see 
the checkerboard pattern, right? Kind of like that. Um, and then we have the climbing hydrangea right there. So, Monty, Monty, you're walking right where we just planted. So we still have to hook these up to drip, and I just watered them down so they're looking a little flat right now, but they'll bounce back up. They'll be so happy, so beautiful. I love it. I'm so excited to have these because I've wanted these for a really long time. I think I'm gonna try and stick with just these three colors over here and try and hold myself back from planting all the hookera and hookerella, um, you know, just to make it look a little more cohesive, but it looks beautiful. I love it. The sun just went down, so let me show you all a look without shadows. Doesn't it look nice? I like it. I like it. We're getting somewhere. I still got to get that l l weaker pump for that fountain <laughs> so it doesn't spray all over the place, but we are definitely getting somewhere here. So Jason and I are going to go in. I'm going to start dinner for the girls. Got my hair done. Got shopping done at Target, and I got some planting done. So all in all, a pretty good day. I hope you all enjoyed this, and I hope you all have a chance to get in your garden today.